Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back to part 31 of the 100 Baby Challenge. In the last part, we did leave off with Annabelle aging up into an elder. She is a now an old granny. I still cannot believe it. I mean, guys, can you? Like, we've been through so much, had so many kids with her, and now she's finally retired. From this challenge and very soon she is gonna kick that bucket if you know what I'm saying all right so um I don't exactly have anything really planned for this part so we're just gonna wing it however I did create a sim a match for Annabelle to settle down with and I did move him a few houses away from our lot so we will get to meet him and then I'll kind of give you a little story to why I created him the way he is and so forth but now let's move on to the gameplay and I believe Alistar might have repaired something and it just backfired on him because as you can see he is completely burnt from head to toe looking so so hideous and so we're gonna have him shower and then I'm pretty sure yeah he is hungry so we're gonna feed him Annabelle's waking up we gotta feed her oh never mind I thought she was waking up just cuz the light turned on but I was wrong so I believe all these kids are gonna wake up super starving so let's go ahead and just get everyone situated Alright, so it is a snow day. None of the kids got school again, which is kind of annoying because I cannot wait until we age up Nami and Oriana because they are going to be the one to carry on down this challenge. Well, either or, but I'm kind of leaning towards more to Nami just because, you know, she looks different, uh, you know, a little something more unique than... I don't know, Oriana, she looks kind of, kind of like a typical sim that you can find in the, in this town. So nothing too extraordinary from Oriana, other than her hair. Other than her hair, that's pretty much it. So let's see, um, we are going to have Alistar probably tend to our little indoor garden of the wolf thing and the red toadstools. And um, I guess we're just going to have Annabelle come and meet her new possible husband i don't know let's see i'm pretty sure you guys will probably like him i created him so that he looks like a really cute old man uh let's see do we have any bills to pay let's double check let's hold up no kids do not go to school i wish they would freaking um fix this little issue with the school bus showing up during snow day and you know all these kids will still end up going to school but there is no school school is not in session so i don't know why it's pretty annoying all right let's go ahead and have annabelle head over i believe i placed them in this tiny empty lot yes oh not really tiny but empty lot and he technically has nowhere to go so we're gonna go you know just kind of get to know him a little better and we're gonna have him move in with us yes I mean it is an extra sim which is unnecessary but I really feel like Annabelle does deserve some love like you know she really deserves to be with someone in the end since she had such a long journey of hoeing around the town so you know this is kind of like a happy ending for her before she really kind of kicks the bucket and dies you know all that sad stuff Alright, so she is running to her man. So let me kind of zoom up on here for you. So he's kind of like a little chubby old man. <laughs> he looks, you know, kind of cute. I kind of look like a one of those, like, I don't know, rich fellows. I don't know. And oh, also I did give Annabelle a full makeover as far as, you know, her outfits. I changed everything just because everything was so hideous before. And it just did not work out. So, of course, they are attracted to each other just because I made them that way. So we're going to do some funny interactions just to really get to know him and possibly invite him over so we can be away from this cold, cold weather. 
uh, compliment home of, you know, whatever home he has in this empty lot. It's a big open space. Uh, let's go ahead and just get to know each other a little more. And can we invite over? Well, you know, you two poor thing would not have to be out in the snow. So his name is Wyatt Grimm. Hopefully he doesn't end up changing Annabelle's last name when we do move him in and such. So Wyatt has pretty much always been single his whole life. He's been dedicated to his work, which is kind of fitting. You know, and Annabelle will be his first love, even though they're both kind of on the older side. You know, much elderly now. And, you know, Annabelle... Of course, she wants to settle down with all you know, all the babies she had already, all the men she went through. It's time that she finally finds a perfect match to settle down. And what better than, you know, Wyatt who's willing to settle down as well and he never had kids on his own. And he immediately fell in love with Annabelle just because, you know, she is so family oriented. She is nurturing and she has such a big family so he kind of feel like fits right in because he want a big family of his own and he doesn't want to you know have to really have Annabelle get pregnant and give birth where he has he can just take all these kids she has already and turn them to his own sons and daughters if that made any sense I mean so like it's kind of a fitting story for these two to meet and hook up and settle down and you know grow old together or whatever days they have left to grow old. I mean it's just a perfect ending to a very magical story. No I don't know. <laughs> Alright so let's go ahead and have um, uh, let's have Karthus go ahead and fix this and uh, let's get needs to a little bit more situated let's go ahead and flirt and see if they're willing to flirt i don't know let's give it a try all right let's go ahead and harvest these eggs i hope we can harvest these honeys i'm not even gonna feed the bees because i don't know every time we try to feed the bees they always end up um kind of what you call it stinging him so i don't know we're just gonna just give it a try all right this is now working out so let's have you come over here and uh, I don't know if we can call him over. Alright, he's going over. Perfect. Alright, let's have you do this again. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, not you. I want Karthus to go ahead and fix this. And once Karthus is done, let's actually have him uh, work on his handiness skill. Just because everyone... Like, Alistar has his hands full with the garden and such. Oh, we got a rare egg. What? Let's, okay, once he goes upstairs, we're gonna have him come back down just cuz you know everyone's downstairs Can we call over? Let's see No, how about now? How about now? How about now? Dang it. It's not working All right, so let's just go ahead and do this um, He picked up a rare egg Let's go ahead and sell it before it turns rotten. I don't know if that's possible, but let's just be safe and sell it first. All right, let's have you sniff out some collectibles as, you know, you don't have any mootlets to be filled up. All right, so how is the getting stung? I guess, I don't know, is that one particular beekeeping box always stings them no matter what, which is really annoying. Um, let's go ahead and have you two compliment appearance. Uh, we're just gonna see and we can just do this very quickly and have them move in together. Just kind of get things going. Compliment appearance. Uh, compliment personality. Uh, flirt. You know, so those two are really, really feeling each other. Oh, let's not do kiss yet. Not just yet. We don't want our first kiss with Wyatt to kind of be rejected and such. Alright, how is everyone else doing? You, my sweetie, you need to use the restroom. Alright, you go ahead and handle that. How's the fixing coming? Okay, it's going perfectly well. Good. Let's go ahead and do pickup line. And Karthus has reached level 2 in his... Handiness skills, I believe. I hope I'm right. And uh, I'm gonna do romantic. Compliment parents. 
I don't know where is the um, ask to go study. I don't know. Not yet. I guess they're not friends yet, so we can't do that just yet. Let's hope they become friends. Like right now? Right now, right now? Yes. Okay, right now worked. <laughs> Alright, propose to go study. And Nami just discovered how to make a classic snowman. Oh. Alright, so he is now officially her boyfriend. Let's, go, let's do a first kiss. So this is technically um, Annabelle's first real kiss because with all the all her previous baby daddies, we never ever had a first kiss with them. We only just kind of went straight for try for a baby. So technically it is, they're both virgins with first kiss and she proposed. He totally rejected us. Why? Why would you do that? That is so freaked up. Alright, so I guess we'll keep chatting. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a friendly. See if we can ask him to move in. Friendly hug. Dude, I cannot believe he really rejected us. Um, On our proposal. That is so, so... Messed up. Um, let's do Shakabra. Hopefully, one of these interactions eventually will initiate the ask to move in. High five. Um, I still don't see it yet. So maybe we still gotta keep going with these friendly interactions. Let's do admire. We should get it now. I don't see it. Let's go ahead and praise. Ask to move in. Here we go. Alright, so, oh my goodness, reject the proposal. You is so screwed up. You might be a cute little old man, but you're so mean. I cannot believe you, you really rejected our proposal. That's just, that's just messed up. Alright, so he is moving in with us, and, um... He has no income, so that's good. So he still keeps his name, and we still keep our name, and oh my god, we have too many sims. <gasps> okay, so we cannot ask him to move in yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, so I guess we can't ask him to move. I totally forgot about our amount in the household. Alright, that kind of sucks. That really sucks. Progression denied. <laughs> Cause I don't know. I was just gonna just wing it, try for a baby, but no, Annabelle's done. She's not gonna try for any more baby. No worries. Um, can we ask him to be roommate instead? Uh, I don't see that option, so I don't know how that's gonna work. And get to know. Friendly, ask to make snowman, no. We can't even really ask him to be our roommate, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Hmm. Um, I guess if anything, we'll ask him to stay the night, and then I'll just kind of figure out how to go about moving him in, because I think asking him to be roommate will be our best bet for now. And then you eventually ask him to officially kind of live with us once. Then some of the kids get to move out. And everyone's getting sick, of course. Everyone's getting sick. Always someone getting sick, which really sucks. Um, so he is still reading his handing the skills. And I don't know, I think Wyatt is a pretty nice name. It reminds me of um, that one kid in um, Charmed. I think it was Piper's son was named Wyatt. The firstborn was named Wyatt. I want to say so, but I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward. Ask a sign. Well, why are you like straight inside your mom? Can we ask proposal now? We'll ask him do you want to stay over. I really wonder, can she get pregnant even though she's an elderly woman? No, so she cannot be, she cannot get pregnant. I don't see why, I mean, it is possible, right, in real life? I don't know, I am, I'm not an elderly person, so I would not know if that is possible. So we have asked to move in, 
as well as you want to stay over but we do not have asked to be roommates just because maybe we have more than eight sims in our household Four, five, six, seven, eight. yeah we have exactly eight sims in our household unless we move out alistar but regardless we still have a while and all these kids are eventually gonna move out like jarvin and uh, maybe I'll keep cart this, but we're gonna move out Lucian. Um, they still have quite a while until they age up, actually. So, ooh, we are gonna we earn so and so money, and something broke. So we earn so and so money from our consignment items, and what broke? Like I'm not even surprised. Things are breaking left to right. All right, Karthus, since you are our repair man now, let's go ahead and have you clean and, um, I mean, repair and mop up this puddle. Thanks for inviting me over. I'm really looking forward to spending the night at your place. It will be fun. Of course it will be. We will get to woohoo, even though they're elderly people, but they still gotta get it on. I know that's kind of gross, but yeah... I don't know. I really don't see the ask to be roommate option, which is kind of weird. Nor can I ask for proposals, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Well, let's go ahead and have them. Woohoo! Why not? Um. I kind of realize we don't spend too much time in this area anymore. Even though we have the gaming system, the kids really don't like to play games. And what else broke? Holy cow, you guys are breaking everything. Let's go ahead and mop up this puddle. Dude, I like literally froze for a moment because that freaking Target commercial. I don't know if you guys um, actually watched that commercial before. The new Christmas uh, Target commercial. But dude, that jingle is so freaking addicting. Like, I don't know. Like, Once you hear it, you kind of sing along with it. I don't know if I'm a loser for that, but... I always do that. Every time the commercial goes on and I start singing, my boyfriend looks at me like, um, oh, you're such a weirdo. <laughs> don't you guys do that? Like, like when you hear something or you think of something and I don't know where you just sing it and people just look at you or not like strangers, but people you know or you sing around them, they kind of give you the look like, what the hell is up with you? Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and have them eat from bowl. And uh, where are you guys doing it anyways? Oh. Alright, so they got busy. Busy with Wyatt. Can we ask to get married yet? Let's do a Morris hug. So this whole part kind of focused on these two. But I really don't know how to go about getting them to propose for marriage and whatnot. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Butterfly hunt. But we don't get any school performance? No. No school performance. I'm not going to be too worried. So I guess um, throughout from here on out, we will really kind of get to focus on Annabelle as far as her lifetime wish. We will kind of, you know, slowly work on it. I don't know if we'll be able to complete it, but at least we actually have time for her to work on it because you know once every time when she's pregnant we're always constantly having her listening to kids music as well as watching kids tv or reading some pregnancy books so she never really had the time to work on her gardening but now we can since you know she's she's free oh damn it's pretty late already um you know what? Since you're up there already, let's go and have you use the all-in-one bathroom. What are you doing? Why are you complaining about dirty dishes? He doesn't even live here. You, you're a weird little boy. Right, and then we're gonna have her go ahead and uh, eat some leftovers. And uh, let's see, how are you little kids doing? You're getting hungry, so let's go ahead and feed you. No. No school performance? No bueno. 
I don't know what bueno means, but I'm guessing that it's what I'm thinking. That's why I said it. <laughs> I don't know any Spanish words whatsoever other than adios, amigo, and uh, gracias, and 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 the one bad word. Yes, that's all the Spanish words I know. He is doing this walk of something. I don't know what you call that, but he's feeling very happy. Cause you know he got some tonight. <laughs> For his age, he's happy he got some. Alright, so let's see. Do 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 how are you doing, Cash? You're doing let's have you kinda chew on some toys. And Annabelle, are you stuck? Can you not get food? I knew it. Alright, go get yourself some veggie burgers or some I don't know, but just just get some food. And you know, since you're done, Oriana, why don't you go ahead and um go ahead and fill up his bowl because he's gonna get hungry eventually. Well for cash. Alright, what broke? I don't know, something broke, but Karthus to the rescue! What broke though? I don't know what broke. Is it the dishwasher? I'm guessing? Yes, it is the dishwasher. We literally just replaced that. What the hell? Alright, so we're gonna have him go ahead and fix that really quickly. Let's go fast forward. So I guess, you know, we will... Because I, I plan on having Annabelle having a grand wedding, inviting all her, you know, kids over um, to the party and we're going to get her hitched. But we will not do that until we get to at least move one sim out. And right now I am thinking that it will be Jarvin once he hits the young adult age. Because right now he's a teen, so he, he's relatively close to being aged up. And once he's aged though, we're going to get Annabelle hitched. I think, you know, Annabelle deserves it, so we are going to do that. Let's go ahead and throw this away. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Can we ask? Let's do a dip kiss, just so you don't put the toy away. <laughs> stop putting his toy away. Like, stop. Just stop. Uh, ask to clean up, really? I don't really go into the friendly interactions too much, so I guess I never knew that. Alright, so they're gonna do a dip kiss. Um, it is actually getting pretty late, so maybe we can start putting everyone to bed. Uh, da -da -da. Sure, why not? Sleep until 6 a.m. Oh, you definitely need to sleep until 7. You will go to bed as well. Same goes for you, young man, but go ahead and use the all-in-one bathroom first, and then sleep. And now, what's her face? Morgana does not have the room to herself anymore because two of her baby sisters are all grown up into child. Not all grown up, but they're grown up, you know. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. Uh, I think, yeah, I told you to go to bed. Are you my friend? My friend, my friend. Let's see. Can we ask to get married? Oh, I think even we got married. We won't be able to actually move him in, so forget it. We're just gonna have her go to sleep. Do, 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 do. I think that's pretty much it, right? I mean, there's really not much to do. So I guess in the next part, we will really kind of focus on growing up the kids if they don't have another freaking snow day again, you know? And then we'll have Annabelle... I'm gonna actually do some off-camera playing and have Annabelle kind of go pick up more seats around town and just kind of have it ready in her, in her inventory. So you guys won't be bored with me just kind of, you know, running around town getting seats and it's kind of stupid to waste a whole good 10 minutes of recording on that. So I'll do all that off-camera and by the next part, well, we will have a bunch of seeds for Annabelle to go ahead and start planting and growing her garden. We're going to decorate our garden and whatnot. So that is the plan for the next part. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this part. I did make this part quite short compared to my other ones. Maybe by like six minutes. I mean, it's not too bad. But other than that, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in my next video.
video. Bye guys.